For those who have an interest in ships and boats, a visit to Gloucester Docks will not disappoint. This is Britain's most inland port. Of special interest is this dredger vessel. It's here to remove the silt which enters the docks from the River Severn. Essential work prior to the arrival of the larger tall ships. And one has already arrived, the Royalist, which we shall see later. As there is still some time before the arrival of the tall ships, the Edward Elgar, which does river and holiday cruises, prepares for another trip on the Doster Sharpness Canal. This boat, the Brian Baru, is named after the last Irish High King. In Ireland it is the only passenger and sail training vessel of her type. Formerly it was a herring ringnet, another early arrival but technically not a tall ship. Vilma was built in 1934 in Denmark and is currently based in North Wales. Her original use was fishing for sole. Now this really is a tall ship and here on its first visit to Gloucester. Formerly named by the Princess Royal, the Royalist is the flagship of the Sea Cadets. As part of their training, 24 cadets go to the sea on six-day voyages. During its visit, the Sea Cadets will be performing their duties, such as setting the sails and climbing the rigging. When not, the public are welcome on board. This ship being prepared to enter the main basin is the Caroline Allen. It is part of the Little Brig Sailing Trust. The cockpit is so designed that all sails can be controlled from inside. The rig and design of the vessel enable it to be sailed with a skipper and just four hands. This enables her to be perfect as a training vessel for young adults. Looking majestic in full sail, the 32 meter long Greyhound has finally arrived. A truly magnificent sight. She was constructed in Cornwall, just two miles away from the docks where the original was launched in 1776. It is believed that then it was used as a lugger for the collection of taxes. The lady being interviewed is the Lord Mayor of Gloucester, American-born Joanne Brown. Greyhound Ventures offer the unique experience of sailing on this 18th century ship. Now we have seen La Madeleine, complete with a daredevil photographer. Formerly named the Willen, it was constructed in Gdansk in Poland in the 1960s. Her name was changed to La Malouine in 2010. The ship was converted into a brigantine in 1992. It has a sail area of 430 square metres. Currently her home base is Dumfries in Scotland. Last, but by no means the least, is the Matthew, a regular visit to the Tall Ships Festival for many years. This replica was built in Bristol from 1994 to 1996. John Cabot sailed in the original to Newfoundland in 1497. This journey was repeated in 1997 by this replica. She is open to the public for visits and book trips around Bristol Harbour during the summer season. Now that all the vessels have arrived, yet another festival of tall ships awaits the citizens of Gloucester and many visitors.